Beauties, welcome back. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are well. All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved the wig you guys saw in the intro. So, when I posted the tutorial of how I achieved this wig cap, someone in particular asked, Oh, no, no, she said she came with to see what I'm going to do with the wig cap. I was like, Oh, this sounds like girl you need to do something right so i was like okay let me do this though i would say this video is somehow inspired by the same person that inspired the wig cap all right somehow but i just i decided to do it my way you guys know how we do this right so um i'm going to show you guys like i just said how i achieved that wig and i'm going to be using braiding hair so this is the hair I'm going to be using and the wig, um, the crochet pins or hook I showed you guys before. Um, yeah, those are the pins I'll be using but I'm going to be using a tinier one which I'll be showing you guys later as we proceed with this video. So which is what I'm going to use to achieve the front part. So to start off with the back, I'm using this much. I don't know. Yeah, this much <laughs> like the one I just showed you. That's what I'm going to use to start off with the back all right so i will tell you guys if you're going to do this please be conscious of how much hair you're going to use at the, on the back of the hair because mine was pretty pretty full like pretty full though i like it because i have so much ideas on how i'm going to style it it's not a problem but i'm just telling you just in case you do not like fuller hair all right so now i've started crocheting i am doing um, the regular crocheting method right here. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of more steps on how or how many Yeah, you guys have seen me do this before so it's nothing new. All right, so um, I'm going to show you one more step and then we'll go over to the next step still the back but uh, a closer um, a closer look or I don't know, I'm just going to zoom you guys in. So this is how much I've done. Though this is still the same day because I finished the back um, one day. Yeah, the same day. So um, this is how much I've done. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of more steps before we we'll continue the front part of it. You can tell how much hair I already have at the back. You know, like I said, like I said, it was a lot, but it's okay. If you like fuller hair. guys so i'm done with the back part the back side of the hair and this is how it's looking so now i'm going to start with the front but before i do that i'm going to try to line out the hair lines i think that's what it's called basically i'm going to line out uh, the, the perimeter of the mannequin head at first i wanted to follow the particular this very hairline of the mannequin hair but when i finished up on uh, making the wig cap i tried it on my head and it was exactly my head shape like my head size so i had to kind of um adjust the um the lining i don't know if that makes sense you can tell it's a bit far than the mannequin hairline but um i'm just going to drag this a bit for uh, a bit forward then follow um the remaining hairline of the mannequin does that make sense but guys just watch you you see what i'm trying to explain to you guys so yeah now i've gone ahead to line it and this is what it looks like and that is how i'm going to work with the hair or rather the the wig um the net all right so this is like some days after maybe like three four days or something and this is how much i've done on the front part of the hair so for the front part guys i used two methods which i'm going to be showing you guys in this video hopefully you guys are patient enough to you know see how um, i did that 
oh by the way these two patterns i made here so i would say these two patterns i made them are not really necessary because as i continue with the hair i realize it's of no use but if you just want to style your hair um a middle part or side part maybe you can choose to do it like that but due to the way i crocheted or i did the hair that the front part of the hair it was not needed but i did anyways so now i'm going to start off with the first method which is basically oh you guys can see the tiny pin right it's different from the one i showed you guys before exactly so what i'm doing now is basically passing the hook or the crochet pin through the net right then attach the hair and then slide the hair through the net then picking one part of the hair through the net and just tighten it basically it's more like um you're doing the invisible crochet pattern um the method all right hope you guys understand what i'm trying to explain so i'm just going to do a couple of more steps for you guys to see um what i'm trying to explain right here so this is the second method so this one is more I would say it's like the usual crocheting method so after um, applying or rather after um, passing the hook through the net bring um, when you're picking the hair you're going to pick both ends of the hair just like the way you would do a normal crochet method so um i would say or rather I would, yeah i would say this method is faster and i kind of like it better than the the first one i don't know why i just love those tiny little knots i was seeing on the bottom of the hair you get so yeah this was the um the the, the, the <laughs> sorry guys oh my god so this was the method I used in finishing the whole hairstyle. So now I'm going to try or when I, once I'm done, okay, let's just say for the video for right now. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what um, or how both bottoms looks like. Did I just say bottoms? <laughs> but how they look like, you know? So this is the, 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 um, the bottom of the, uh, the first method. I would say it's not bad it's cute all right it's okay but I'm going to show you guys what the second method looks like which I really really like I really like those tiny little knots <coughs> sorry guys so I really like those tiny little knots I'm seeing which is why I decided to finish up the rest part of the hair with this method so what do you guys think i like this more what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below so i'm just going to continue um crocheting or yeah continue with the whole hairstyle guys i think i've said it before this hair took me a whole week like ever since i've been doing hair tutorial this is the the hair that took me so much time to finish but yeah at the end i was glad i did so now I've come this far, <coughs> this is like days, days, days after, like days after. So I had to cut the braiding hair into two equal halves. So it's going to give me um, that feather look at the front of the hair, all right? So now I'm going to continue with the second method. Like I earlier told you guys, um, that was the method I used in finishing up the whole hair um yeah so i'm just going to continue crocheting and i'll be right back guys
all right so i'm going to part it to for you guys to see one more time because i just couldn't get enough of those <laughs> those tiny little knots all right so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like one more time before i finish up the whole hair do you see that guys so cute but yeah so this is how far i've come which i still have a long way to go a long way yeah but definitely <laughs> i will finish this hair that was the hope i was giving myself because at some point i really really wanted to just end it but i'm like just finish it and see what the result is going to look like and voila this is what it's looking like i'm done with the the whole crocheting method see guys i brushed the hell out of this hair i kept brushing and brushing and brushing i don't know why i think it was just suiting like it was just i don't know I, I can't really tell the reason behind it but i kept brushing the hair so this is what it looks like at this point so what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to kind of play around with the hair somehow and then i'll put it in hot water so it kind of sinks the hair down because as you can tell right now it's really really full By the way guys this bowl was just too small to take this hair so i had to go to the bathroom to finish it up you know boil some more hot water boil some more hot water. anyways so this is what i'm having at this point and i kept on brushing and brushing just making sure it is smooth and feels smooth and all of that so um, what I'm going to do next is basically try to okay because I just didn't want to give this hair one more day I decided to blow dry it guys yes I decided to blow dry it and that made the whole situation quick fast and easy I would say but yeah so after I blow dry it and I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess end um, just a little bit though, just a little two of those excess ends. I just trimmed them off and then brush the hair one more time. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, after which, I'm going to try to style the hair, you know, just to make it look nice, presentable, and all of that. Yes, I really, really love the turn out, the result of every of this hairstyle. I love it. I was glad I tried it. So, this is what it's looking like, and right now, it's giving me that blown out kinky straight hair but yeah so this is what's up guys this is yeah this is how much or how far i came with this hairstyle so i'm going to try to style it uh, you know second style for you guys just to give you a better hang of the whole um, hair um, of the whole look all right so this is going to be it please do let me know your thought in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you are here for the first time or maybe you've been here you just didn't subscribe subscribe follow up me up on instagram at delia's empire and also subscribe to my vlog channel delia's vlog so oh guys i have lash line delia's empire lashes check it out until next time guys stay beautiful and be blessed bye guys <laughs>